What is up guys, I'm here with another video essay. As this video essay is on Superman Lois's final season, of course, the first four episodes. And I gotta say, these first four episodes have really been great. They have just been superb. So first off, the CGI. The CGI is just amazing. I think this is by far the best CGI I've seen in this show compared to the last three seasons. And considering we were supposed to get like, what? three more after this supposed final season, bummer, real bummer. I believe in James Gunn and he, I believe he's gonna do great, but how come he lets My Adventures with Superman still go, but not this masterpiece? This, ma this show here is a masterpiece with its CGI and I cannot, mm. James Gunn, you may help us in the future with DC, but you sure as hell doomed this show. This show is superb. Enough with my little rants. Into the acting area of each and every single episode. I gotta say, the acting has really improved. And can I just say, Kolditz nails it. He nails it as a very manipulative, scary, and very terrifying Lex Luthor which I have been waiting for my whole life. John, Cry John Cryer is good. He's not great, he's good. But Kolitz knocks it out of the park. He knocks it out of the park. And I cannot say how much that Bitsy, um, who plays Lois, has improved in her acting. Her acting within these first four episodes has been really great. I love how she just goes all in with her acting. It is so superb, it is so professional, and I think she has really improved as Lois um, throughout the entirety of this show and even when she was introduced back in Elseworlds. I gotta say, both these two characters and their actors have come a long way since 2015 and 2018. And <sighs> it's just superb, really. Um, Tyler and Bitsy have done pretty well for these two characters. The iconic um, couple of DC. And um, I cannot say how much I'm going to miss the show when it's gone. But as for like stuff that's been going on within these first four episodes, the Death of Superman arc is really handled superbly well. Like just very well done. Very well written. Very well thought out. I think if you give it a few more episodes until like episode five, if this were a 15 episode season, that'd be good. And given the fact that we are only given 10 episodes, it's still pretty good. It's not great. You know, we all wish for more stuff to happen within this arc for the city of Metropolis, for Smallville to feel Clark's loss and all that. But other than that, I think what we have is really great and it's really good. I like how, you know, Jordan and Sarah are kind of start going back to being friends, kind of. And I hope, I hope I have been a fan of them for a long time, even though I really have hated Jordan and Sarah from last season, just because. Um, honestly, Jordan, all the way since the pilot, he's always been, he's just, I'm not saying his actor is terrible. I'm just saying that what Jordan has been given character-wise has not been great. But I like how they're kind of starting to improve his character a little bit in this fourth and final season. I like it. I like how they're taking his character to take a few steps back before, you know. But I do hope, considering he's still the main focus, the Kent family is the main focus of this final season, I guarantee that Jordan will be back as Superboy. Um, and that John, given the fact that he's been given the suit now, he, he takes his own spin on it, still has the jacket, doesn't have the goggles, but he does have the iconic shirt because like now that Jonathan has powers, um, I gotta say, it hit me by surprise when he started getting powers. And I'm like, finally, 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 we get Jonathan, Jonathan with powers. We've been waiting for this since the events of season two. And have theorized that he may have latent abilities. And finally, it has come to fruition. Jonathan Kent is officially part of the super family. And like... <laughs> I cannot express how wholesome episode four was with him and Clark when Clark came back. And I do like how they're going with the story for Clark coming back from the dead using Sam's heart. Um, I gotta say, rest in peace to Dylan Wall, 
I mean, well, Dylan Walsh isn't dead, guys. But rest in peace to his character of Sam Lane. Dylan, you did a great run. You did a heroic sacrifice that well paid off. It will have its limits for Clark, but in the end, it's going to pay off in super, like, super well. I feel like as if for next week's episode, of course, Clark is going to have to power, really power up, because Doomsday is coming back. Doomsday is coming back. Luthor is not stopping. He is coming for Clark. And I got to say, guys, this final season is really off the bars insane and I cannot express how excited I am and with the name drop of Brainiac in the first episode I have a feeling because Tom Cavanaugh is supposed to be in the series finale of Superman Lois and I am theorizing I'm just going off the cuff here because there have also been talks of Batman now I'm not saying Tom could be Batman but it could go both ways because they could be tricking us. Because there have been speculations that Batman is going to be somewhat mentioned or partially visible in the final season. In the final episode of the season. And the Arrowverse entirely. But I think it's good speculation because it's the obvious choice. Tom is going to be Brainiac. I feel like. Because that's the obvious choice. They want us to think, oh, hey, Tom's going to be this major character that we've been waiting for years and years to come. There have been mentions of him in Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl. Basically, every single Arrowverse show, including this one. And I got to say, if they pull this off, I might, I might just be very well impressed if they do this as a final send-off for the Arrowverse. But other than that, what are your theories and predictions for the rest of the season? What are your thoughts on the first four episodes of Superman Lois Season 4? Tell me in the comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay tuned for more episode essays. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.